Hello everyone. Uh, this video is to uh, get you familiar with scheduling policies. Now, uh, scheduling policies is like combination of work rules and service objectives that make sure that the serv uh, correct service appointment is assigned to correct service resource. Uh, now, there are you already know about work rules. There are plenty number of work rules present in uh, FSL. And uh, let me tell you about service objective first. So there are uh, six kind of service objectives. Let me tell you uh, all of them one by one. So first service objective is ASAP. ASAP is nothing but uh, uh, like uh, in expander, it's as soon as possible. So the ASAP service objective makes shows that the uh, driver should visit uh, like. Uh, the uh, sorry, uh, the ASAP uh, service objective makes sure that the service appointment gets scheduled as soon as uh, the earliest start date, uh, earliest start permitted date is uh, started. Now, second is minimize overtime. So, um, I'll give you an example to let you easily understand what minimize overtime is. So, there are a number of uh, like there are ratings for every uh, right, uh, every like uh, situation in uh, field service so let's say there are two service appointment one is uh, like scheduled outside of the scheduling window uh, not scheduling window outside of the operating hour and then there is second service appointment that lies down half hour after the uh, like that ends half hour after the operating hour so the service appointment that is going to end half hour after the operating hour is going to be on highest priority so it will get served first uh, rather than the other one that totally lies outside of the operating hour now third one is minimize travel so this minimize travel service objective makes sure that the the service resource have to travel least from one location to another location to perform the job then fourth is the preferred service resources now uh, the fourth option makes sure that like the, the only the preferred service resources uh, get scheduled for uh, any service appointment then fifth is the resource priority so there are priority field on service resource by which you define the priority of service resource and this service objective make shows about resource priority and then last one is skill level now uh, i know if i don't know if you are familiar with skills or not but if you are there are level of skills so this service objective makes shows that the higher rating or highest number of skill requiring person gets appointed to that particular service appointment now let me tell you about scheduling policies so if you are using your developer org you will find that there are four scheduling policies already present here and let me give you a brief description about them customer first scheduling policy is most uh, like reverted on towards customer side uh, it has most of the work rules and service objective that uh, tells in favor of customer then there is emergency emergency scheduling policy makes sure that the emergency works gets completed first then there is high intensity and soft boundaries and <coughs> sorry about that then the third is high intensity the scheduling policy is used when there are high number of service requirement then fourth is the soft boundaries soft boundaries is similar to customer first except that uh, the soft boundaries contains exchange of service resources to enhance the work performance now if you open any of scheduling policy and go to its related list you will find the work number of uh, work rules and number of service objectives present here so the combination of work rule and service objective works like 
the work rule uh, like filter out the resources that violates any kind of rule then uh, the service objective finds the more appropriate and efficient uh, resource for a particular service appointment now uh, if you are familiar uh, if you are uh, like creating service policy for any dev, uh, client to be precise in any sandbox or production you won't find any uh, scheduling policies present uh, in prior term you have to create them by yourself so before creating any service uh, scheduling policy make sure uh, that what your requirement is what kind of rules and what kind of should, uh, like service objective you are going to need if i give you an example of our previous use case like uh, a company that provides the cleaning the um, cleaning the repairing installation and maintenance of traps uh, or any like in any restaurant or any household uh, they need the policies which consider the earliest start and due date combination with the active resource uh, then they must have the service objectives like asap and minimal minimize travel time so uh, these kind of uh, requirements you can only assure only have to look in after your business model so before sh uh, creating any scheduling policies m make sure what your business model is now uh, it's time to add the scheduling policy to your like uh, scheduling of service appointments to m do so go to your field service app in your field service app uh, when you go to your field service tab and your field service tab have uh, a pick, uh, a drop down list for scheduling policies now uh, if you here see here there is a policy label and next to policy label there is a drop down list having scheduling policies now you can change the policies as per your requirement and the button you see here the schedule button all the service appointment gets uh, like uh, that gets scheduled by the schedule button follows the scheduling policies uh, you can change your scheduling policy from here as per your need so that's how scheduling pol policies work thank you